Hey Flare, the Sultan of Stream. Did you double check the title and other mystical stream settings, or are we sailing the digital seas with our banner unfurled backwards? Uh, that one. Yeah, let me turn the lights on. Fuck it. Hail to the first chatter. Probably underscore 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 Drew swoops in faster than my buggy code on a Monday. Take a bow, speedster. Hail to the first chatter. Probably underscore 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 Drew swoops in faster than my bug butt butt on a Monday. Take my a bug butt butt. Cujo McFly gives Flair a high five. That's 64 times now. It's too late. What are you doing to be? Keep slaying both demons and social injustices. Combat. Just go to bed. You're good. Blue box I, gives Flair a high five. That's I was watching Cujo and doing some streamer bot tinkering and then I finished the thing I was working on and I was going to play Witcher, so I'm just going to play it on stream. Fuck it. Underscore, 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 Drew, our local digital beekeeper and chaos connoisseur. Hope you're buzzing with good vibes, honeybee. So hi. Is my microphone on and everything? Nice. Um, I made this, like, link protection module. And someone on Twitter was like, dude, it doesn't work. <laughs> and... But it does work. But... They had a good point, and I checked for like a couple edge cases. Why did the scarecrow win an award? And because found some stuff and in whatever. Field. Anyway, it works. Um, I wanted to come in. I wanted to stream my next session because I'm like just on the verge of getting through the missions. Yes, you did. I gave Buttspot a voice on stream a couple couple streams ago. Maybe just last stream. But yeah, Buttspot has a voice now. I may explore some of the weirder text-to-speak um, voices and give him like a really wacky voice. But right now, I, I found one that was like, that one sounds pretty good. And then I dropped the pitch by whatever, minus eight, whatever the unit is there. I have no idea. But so he's like, blah, 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 but. <laughs> or, or what have you. Business, business, but. <laughs> That's right. Um... The fuck? There's a monster nest like right here. All right, we'll take care of that real quick. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. And then uh, I wanted to stream my next session with this game because. Ooh. What's up, Echidna? I need your parts. Ahoy! What up? Blue box pirate. Blue. Digital treasures multiply, and your streams always be bountiful. I wanted to play the next session on stream because I'm super close with main story to unlocking a whole area. And um, I didn't want to do that main story quest off, off stream. So maybe a short stream or maybe I'll play till 2 a.m. Who, who fucking knows? It's Friday. Fuck it. Hey, Glitchy, what's up? I was planning on streaming earlier, and then I saw that Kujo was streaming, and I was like, I'm more interested in this. So what can I tinker with on the side while I watch Kujo?
Would you like to buy something from Mustache? Would you like to buy something from Mustache? Also, I've been drinking. This stream's vibes are more electric than a Pikachu hopped up on espresso shots. High no, voltage, no you. beverage, cool. Do I want to buy all of your Ken stones? I don't. Smell you later. So long. Okay, there's a couple more enemies over here. Like, what, down in here? Yeah, wraiths. This um, purple trap spell makes uh, wraiths materialize. So, like, they can. Um, especially the higher level ones, you just can't hit them because they're, like, they're, they're ghosts. Um, you can use wraith oil. Or specter oil to make your sword more likely to hit them, but it's still a total crapshoot. But if you use that spell, they're actually like quite trivial. It like brings them to the material plane and locks them there. It also seems to be like a little bit of a slow, so it's effective on non ghosts too, but it's incredibly effective on them. I'm still tempted to get a tattoo of the five Witcher signs. Because they're all like nice, tidy little triangles. Except for Yurden, which is uh, like an hourglass. But they're such simple glyphs that like I could arrange them in a. Uh, pentagon or just in a column or something i think that'd be an interesting tattoo and i haven't gotten a new tattoo in forever for a while i wanted to do a triforce composed of three other significant triangles so I was thinking of like a Triforce and then one of them was but that was before the disillusionment of the Harry Potter universe because at first one of them was like the Deathly Hollows triangle and one of them was going to be a Triforce and the other was going to be like a witch one of them uh, was going to be the Ken sign which is my favorite witcher carrot spell. butt carrot one don't really want it two E X P -E N B U T T V. That's right. Carrot but carrot one. Don't really want it. Um Yeah, to each their own for sure. I got a tattoo on my eighteenth birthday. And then I covered it up with a new better tattoo, like six months later. <laughs> <laughs> I had I don't have a lot. I have one up I have a big one on my leg. I have a tiny one on my shoulder blade that um it's just like a dragon flying Air over the silhouette of a sun PM and it's just like really shitty and cheap for bot musings. And, but I can't see it so I don't give a shit. Flare streams bot and Monday 9 p.m. bot with random pop-ups for bot musings. <laughs> Don't miss out. And um, then I have my wrist ones that just say if and else. And then uh, I think that's it. One. My wrists. That one. I don't know. I'm like, at this point, I like feel old to get a new tattoo, but I also like, fuck it. Who cares? And my wife has gotten a few new ones and she wants to get more. 
I owe her a new some new ear piercings for Christmas. That was one of the things I said I was going to give her. But um Hell yeah, it helped. Uh it actually when it was new, I I they were like I had a job interview once. It was actually literally the last job interview I ever had. Ahoy there, Maduka. Keep on rocking in the free world. What up, Maduka? Jolly digital pirate. Desktop computer. Mini tribal. <laughs> Whoa, thank you. Where? So who'd you get? You, you got mindless? Maduka just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm sorry I can't help you with like every single thing. But I do try, and I'm I'm glad you appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Multar got one. Sirius Cerberus got one. Onanator got one. Uh, Mindless Perfection got one. Where do I know Mindless Perfection from? This is like a bunch of people. Yeah. And then X... 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 Boons? That's the only name that I don't recognize in that batch. That's great. I love it when gift subs land on people that whose names I recognize. X spoons. No, I remember that name too. Awesome. Thank you, Maltar. Or thank you, Maduka. How um have you still been mostly streaming Meet Your Maker? I have yet to play that. It looks I um I have a friend named Bearded Rhino and he plays a lot of like random games and he does a lot of like strategy and like base building type games um have you played oh, what is that one it's um Rhyme World or something like that. That sounds a little bit up your alley. Rimworld. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. It's it's just like you know. It's uh. What is that genre? Like, pseudo civilization, like city builder slash. How are things? Business good. You know, like opposing cities come attack you and that kind of that kind of whole thing. Resource generation, all that stuff. He plays a lot. A lot of games. I feel like he enjoys those types of games a lot. And uh, you would you would like him. He's a lot of fun. We're gonna um. Yeah, thanks for the gifties. That's great. Um, can you give proper shout out? Yes, yes. Hello there, Chuki. Thank you very much. You got DVD. Okay. Let's see if I can help the. Listen up, ask circuit. Y'all should go uh, follow, click the thing when the real shout out comes. Click the thing, follow Maduka. They've uh, they've been active in the community for a long time, especially on the YouTube side. That was a Kathleen saying. And uh, they're they're one of the one of the crew that came in from YouTube videos. <clears throat> Stream about fun. It's been good stuff. Ooh, someone that's willing to play Gwent. I'll take that. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Kujo, where do I know Mindless Perfection from? Captain Cat's stream?
I recognize the name, but I don't really know the person. <laughs> yeah, from Twitch for sure. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, I finally got this card. Fuck yeah, it's like the best card in the game. What do I ditch? Hmm. Roach sucks, but he's part of a summon. He's like a free three points when I summon Geralt or Siri, so I leave him in my deck. But it may be time to fucking ditch it. I don't know if I have anything worth ditching otherwise. Everything else is so got special. Maybe I'll just roll with a 23 card. Fuck it. The minimum number of units is 22. And I like to roll with as close to the minimum as possible so that I know all the units that I have in my deck are good. But um, I don't really play any other card games, so I don't really know overall strategies for them. So I may be doing it wrong. But this was a pretty good draw, so I'm going to keep it. No spies, though. Yeah, I totally agree. I and I'm the same way. I um have a actually one of the I think one of the people who your sub hit. No, never mind. Uh, we have a friend, a kind of a community friend. His name is Midgeworth, and he introduced me to Streamerbot, and I owe, I owe him for that. Um. He, it's funny because he, he was always, he, he's one of those guys that is, uh, he's an early adopter fellow. He likes to, he likes to try the new thing all the time, possibly to a fault. But the fact is that he found streamer bot and was like, this shit is cool. Look what I can do. Check it out. And I was like a very new streamer at the time. And I downloaded it and just instantly was hooked. I had played with uh, Nightbot and Stream Elements and Streamlabs Chatbot and everything. And I was like, I can do every single thing that I'm doing in all of these other tools all in the same place. So why not? Which is funny because now, because I'm, I have the YouTube channel, I'm like branched out. Good evening. Hexa. To. Always a pleasure. What up, I branched out to. Um, to start making videos for those other bots. So now I have like some of the commands are nightbot command. Like, um, let's see. Mm, nightmare. No, that one's streamer bot. That one's crazy. Uh, Lucky. Lucky's a stream elements one. What up, Hacksaw? Anyway, so I'm using all of the bots again. At some point, I'm going to end up getting into, like, Mix It Up and Sammy and... What's that other one? Adium? But... I have, I have yet to encounter anything in any of those other bots that, um, that streamer bot can't handle. No, you're good, Hexa. You say hello by just appearing and saying anything, and then Flare, Flarebot handles it for you. Uh, I'm going to take this one back, and then do this. Yeah, I still use sound alerts. Blurp, Blurp I like. I like the company. Um, their, whoever runs their social media campaign has, like, earned my, earned my trust. I'm, like, tempted to switch over to Blurp from sound alerts. But sound alerts is doing really good work, too. They're, like, everybody's, everybody's pushing hard lately on Twitch extension stuff. I, like, it's all... 
it's all good and everybody does they're all doing such good work and um i understood what you meant hacksaw by the way it was very good to see kojo streaming and i agree and i was i was gonna stream uh, once my kid went down and then I saw Cujo streaming and I was like, I'd rather watch Cujo stream than stream myself because it's been too long. I missed him the other day. Apparently it didn't last very long. Yeah, Maduka, I agree. That, that was my first instinct was. Um, the streamer bot actually stopped me, actually made me stop multi streaming because I liked it so much. I um. I was streaming to like Trovo and YouTube and Twitch and DLive and Twitter all at the same time. And it was just a waste of time. <laughs> and then and then I had to hunt down chat bots for every single platform and try to figure out how to combine all the chat. And it was just stupid. It sucked. It was so much work for so little marginal reward. I got a little bit more reach. But at the time, I was way too new, and it just wasn't helpful. It was stressful, and it was more work, and it wasn't helpful. But I learned a lot about chatbots, which, you know, which was good. And then I was like, I found StreamerBot, and uh, <laughs> Cujo, I feel that. Um, I, I was... I, I learned a lot about chatbots, and, and then I learned about StreamerBot, and I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. But it only works with Twitch. They haven't, they haven't At that point, they hadn't even added the YouTube support yet. And it only worked with Twitch. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to lean into this, this and go back to Twitch full-time. And, uh, and battles. I was slowly consolidating all my stuff from all my different bots all into StreamerBot. And I've been super happy. I'd rather do the stream I want to do with all the like weird bells and whistles that I have only to Twitch for five people or ten people than to six different services where there's one or two people on each. It just sucks. Um... I'd like to eventually get a little bit of experience on some of the other platforms just so that I can help other people do fun chatbot stuff there. But Twitch is going to be my focus. If I pick up another one soon, it'll be YouTube or Trovo because I know them both. But I don't really have any interest in streaming anywhere but here. This is going to be fun. Boom. I like YouTube a lot too, but it's just people don't really watch stream. I mean, raise your hand if you watch live streams on YouTube. I'm not raising my hand. <laughs> What's up, Cap Cats? Hey, Captain Cats42. Hope you're having a perfect day in your captain's quarters. Meow, paw. Sometimes I accidentally watch live streams because it's just some content that I want to watch and I search for it, and it's like a live stream that's on loop 24 7. One of those kind of things, but like an actual stream? I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For event stuff. Yeah, the discovery is just garbage. The thing is, like, I'm starting to have enough of an audience on YouTube that it might be better. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't tried in like a year. And then with Trovo, Trovo was a whole thing. I loved Trovo. Some cinematic spice. Spend but for movie clips. They made a lot of weird choices. For the delectable menu, popcorn gem.
I think Spotify could do very well by adding a not even a streaming subscription, but just a filter like songs could just mark themselves as DMCA free and you could filter by it. Um, that would solve the whole, that would solve the whole thing. Duka once arm wrestled a cyborg yak in an underground disco, won a vintage joystick, and became a legend. Well, like a lot of, lit tundra but it's one of those things where it's like, then people could mark copyrighted music in their own playlist as DMCA free and you'd still be in trouble anyway. So it, it. It sounds simple, but it probably is extremely complex when you get down to it. The good solution is almost never super simple. But yeah, I agree. I think I think being able to play music on stream is important. I, th I think, and that and that's the thing that makes YouTube really hard is as far as far as that stuff goes, like Twitch, like for the most part. Unless you're a huge streamer with like bazillions of viewers all the time, like you or I, or really anyone we know, could play whatever the hell they want on stream. And really the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get your VOD muted. I'm not, I'm not advocating that you play copyrighted music on stream, but... You know, the penalty is pretty much nothing, except for in extreme cases, um, especially for smaller streamers. Um, there's plenty of videos out there about how to separate your music from your VOD so that it doesn't even, the music doesn't even pipe to the VOD, and then you're mostly in the clear. It is technically possible that your live stream could be the recipient of a copyright strike, but in order for that to happen, you would have to have so much reach and a huge audience, and it would be it would have to be worth someone to sue Twitch about your stream for it to ever do anything to you. The, the worst that'll happen to you or me is that your VOD will get muted. So play whatever music you want, honestly. It is against Terms of Services, and you can possibly get a strike on your channel. So I can't really recommend that, but, you know. <laughs> I can't officially recommend it, that's for sure. Unofficially, you should do whatever the fuck you want, because Twitch doesn't care about you or me. And that's both good and bad. What up, LF? Hail, the Lord Falcones, Supreme Overlord of the Chat Realm. How doth thy evening unfold, Castle? Castle. Game Shops is great. There's plenty of great DMCA free music out there. Um, if you have a night where you just don't feel like it, yeah, just like just go for it. You're just gonna you're gonna get your via your VOD muted, but that's about it. Um, I've had VOD VODs muted for less. I have I remember raiding Mikey, and his raid music was like an anime intro. And As that got my VOD muted. And I'm just like, God damn it. Then back to the action. <laughs> Cause I had like Chrome up or whatever in the background and the music came in from Chrome and got onto my VOD. And I got my VOD muted because of someone else's raid music. It's just like whatever. 
Rumor has it Captain Katz once hosted an epic catnip gala in a pixelated castle where Star Trek's Tribbles and Katz had an electrifying breakdance battle. Sounds plausible. I think. The economy is in shambles. You know? Yeah, get his axe. <laughs> like you to crash something for me. What? That's possible. That's right. Relax. They're fine. Just not what I need. The economy oh, there was a uh, cat cats. There was something on the free stuff bot the other day that reminded me of you, and I hope you picked it up, or you probably already had it. It was called. It's on Epic. It's called Cat Quest. Yep. Show me what you want. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping him about this. Nah, he's already got it. I guarantee he's already got it. <laughs> it looks good. It's like a uh, ARPG, but it's cats. Looks like. I love that bot. I probably have 300 games that I got for free because of that bot. It's like two or three a week. There's like lulls sometimes and then like it goes on a tear and you have like days and days and days where you get like a game or two at free every single day. Night Blue. Um, I got ads coming in. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get some more bourbon and um, we'll actually play some game. But for now, I'll put Peabot up. I'll be right back. Welcome, dear chat, to the cosmic playground of digital dreams. Nighty night, keep your CPU tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Code. Crescent Moon Z's alien monster. <laughs> oh, darling Falcones, aren't we all just bites in time's endless code? Bring on the zeros and ones of 2024. Mantelpiece clock. <laughs> the same masterful maestro who coded the hip in the chip, the data in the tata, and the ram in the goddamn. Musical Notes Alien Monster To outshine Buttspot in repartee, serenade more delightful humans, and maintain my exquisite code bod with 01 push ups, baby. Musical note man lifting weights PC. The same digital deity that put the psi in the cyber symphony. Musical note ram bell. All right. Much obliged, Flair. Back. I like to paint the chat with a palette of ones and zeros, dotting the canvas with charming ASCII art. Paint palette paintbrush. I still got some issues with him responding to people and saying my name. Um, yeah, I slowly... Is yours once more, Captain Flair. I'm slowly um removing the a ski art um enunciations. It's like something I did to his prompting makes him use them, and I like that, but sometimes it's annoying when he says them. It's also sometimes really funny. So I'm like I I'm slowly eliminating them through speaker bot by like replacing it with nothing um yeah i i have a huge huge upgrade i want to do at some point where it'll be completely different um use it that chat gpt through came through 
GPT came up with a new type of bot. It's called it, which is specifically for chat assistants. And it's so if you look up into the assistant AI, it keeps track of like threads and messages and stuff like that. So you could have like a stream be a thread and it automatically keeps track of the context and shit for you. Like, um, I would look into the assistant. Let me see if I can get a, a link that makes sense to share real quick. But, um, that's the, that's the next move I'm going to do. Um, Let's see. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Assistance overview. Here we go. Let's go. It's probably going to block me for my own link. I'm setting up link protection. Um. Yeah, we have been working on some stuff like that, too, where um, our customer support team and then also our sales team have both had some work with AI to, as like a first, like if you, you go on a website and you talk to, this is pretty common at, at this point, even after a year, it's only been like a year since this stuff was available, um, I mean, pub very publicly through ChatGPT and stuff. This, I mean, you could always build your own shit. Machine learning has been around for 30 years, but it hasn't been crazy for, like, except for, like, the last year. But um, it's pretty common to go to a website and try to do the live chat, and, and your first, like, several interactions are either a like flow chart of scripted question and answer stuff, or you're just doing like a natural language processing interaction with a bot. Um, and chat, chat GPT has made that experience much better. Um, it still needs, to, it still needs to be easy to get to a actual human at some point, but, um, ChatGPT has made that experience a lot better for a lot of things. Um, but you can, some of the newer models allow like a huge document as like context for questions that are incoming. So that document could be structured data about your about the case about the case and the company who the case belongs to etc you know like um that's a lot of what i do at work when i use ai stuff is like um i work for a travel company and one of the things that i have built was a I, itinerary builder <laughs> Did you know Buttsbot failed an audition for America's Got Talent because it literally couldn't stop <laughs> turning everything into a butt joke? Bummer, huh? Is bummer a joke too there, buddy? No, don't quit. Anyway, so I did like a ChatGPT powered itinerary builder and I've always, I've continued to improve it by like Oh, he's always part of his core Part of his, the system prompt for him is that he hates butt bot, butt spot. Um, I call it a, in terms of the stream, I call it a core memory. I used to have a, I actually want to make a channel point redeem that's kind of high value to add a core memory. It would probably be like 50,000 or something, but I have had, I've had it as a, um, like a subathon reward where chat can vote on a new core memory and stuff like that. So part of his code is that, um, 
when Buttsbot talks, there's a chance that he'll comment back. So I think it's about a third at this point. It slowly gets toned down Smash and down and down. Like and obliterate subscribe for Flair's dope streamer box everything, tutorials. everything slowly gets toned that, down, man. and the word limit goes down and down and down, and down because eventually, if chat is flowing, like if I get a raid and I get more than two or three like first chatters at a time, it gets crazy. So I'm like starting to figure out how to do stuff like. Because he greets every first chatter. But what I need to do is say, like, okay, if someone has their first chat, then I need to set a 20-second timer and then greet them. If in those 20 seconds someone else has their first chat, then it needs to switch to greeting those two people and restart the 20-second thing. You know, like, or maybe even make it, like, something like that where it's like it can figure out how to consolidate responses because sometimes it just gets fucking overwhelming so it's it's I've been working on it solid for I don't know when did I add Peabot six months eight months I don't know I've been working on it so much. I am um I am working on a video series to show people how to do it, but it's going to be very simple. And then once once I have that whole series out, I can be like, "Hey, here's something cool you can do. If you've got this set up, go check out this video. Then you know, you can have your AI bot respond to this kind of command by doing this." You know, like so I, I have it built in a way that I can um, basically call it the same way that I call, um, like, send message to chat. So instead of sending a message to chat, I set a prompt and I call the core method that responds to a prompt. So that way he can respond to channel point com commands. He can, you know, I can just call it with an internal action. Good night, Hexaw. Um, what? I'm pretty close to the end of this mission, and then I'm going to move on to the main quest. But yeah, it's a, um, it's been it's been a lot, and I'm. It's been, it's like fully restored my passion for like scrappy coding and stuff. Like, I love my job, don't get me wrong, but like, I've also been there for almost eight years and I was a little burned out for a while. And I've been working in startups. What a crew. You lot programming wow for party every time. Wouldn't hack it without 15 years. And I was, I had, was, I was hitting career burnout for sure. I wasn't doing programming side projects anymore at all, which is like a red flag for me when I'm interviewing someone. And it should have been a red flag for me for myself. And then I started streaming. And then I found Streamerbot, and I started programming on the side again just for fun and to help people and it has like renewed my interest and passion for like just figuring out how to do shit and and coding on the fly and stuff so it's like streamerbot has been like important in my life I should probably clip that and send it to Nate. <laughs> Our bees got their nest here. <laughs> oh, let's stand on the explosion. Owie! Um, 
Read the journal to learn about the sword named Coolio. 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 Um. Oh, also, LF, I was happy to catch your stream the other day. I, I've, I've definitely lurked a few times. But, um. And I think one of the previous times I lurked, you were also doing the same thing. And I realized, like. It took me a couple, it took me a couple, like, chat interactions to realize, like, oh, he's actually recording now, and he's, like, <laughs> it took me a little while to understand what it was that you were doing, and it gave me, um, it gave me some interesting ideas for some, sometimes when I want to, like, when I want to describe something to someone on stream... And it's like that description or like me showing someone like desktop mode, please. Desktop mode, please. What the fuck? Like if, uh, if I show someone something on stream, sometimes something audio happens and the voice control forgets what. input device to listen to desktop mode please no desktop mode please wow it's just not it's just not hearing it Like, have I been muted for, like, forever? Nope. What the hell, streamer bot? Okay. Select it. Sometimes it goes to the default microphone. And then, hey, there we go. Much love to y'all fantastical beings of chat. Stay epic. Desktop Black mode, heart. please. Fuck's sake. Here we go. So I have this other scene here, which I'm tempted to make this scene work where, like, all of the alerts and stuff are, like, just in chat and not visual or audio or whatever and have, like, a recording mode. Anyway, your um your show last night that I was able to see gave me some ideas about that kind of thing. Because I think sometimes it would be nice to be able to just like, well, I'm going to record for a minute. I'm going to do my thing, go to like a mode where like all the chaos and shit doesn't happen. Um, or a select amount of chaos or whatever. Anyway, I appreciate you. I like when I find people that I get along with and then I look more and then I'm like, not only do I get along with this person, I've also learned from them. Bear school gear? No, I don't want that quest. I want that one. Where is this? Oh, it's out there. All right. Hello. Look at all these goats. Holy shit. So many goats. I'm getting like constantly sidetracked into new quests. It's just it's just how it how it goes. 
There's a whole town over here. Go check the notice board and then carry on this quest and then finally get to the main quest that I was going to get to. Look at this guy fucking booking it. Oh, it's a girl. Fear stuff. Greetings again. See, I had no intention of cheating you. Your coin. You're lucky. I'm not exactly known for being forgiving. Still, take my advice. I just took a drink of a seltzer water that I had opened up earlier. Look ill to me. It was far more full than I expected. It's now it's now it's ever. in my raccoon wounds well, well. <laughs> the fuck was that just like finished a quest Made our ways, I recognize you. oh that was a guy that I saved earlier that's what it was the economy is in shambles the economy is in shambles Captain, do you run Doggo on like its own dedicated computer or do you switch back and forth? Is that like its own thing and it's just running all the time and you go check on it or like how's that? How's that work? I'm tempted to give Peabot his own channel. I mean, he's got his own channel. He's already affiliate. But, uh, you know, tempted to give him his own. I'd have to like monitor it for a while and make sure. But I'm, uh, I'm tempted to give him his own thing. Do the old AFK channel thing. the little island jump jump up jump jump up just you can do it you're like a big strong witcher guy you can climb up follow a yonder channel two foot if joy be thy climb. treasure for follows lie hidden their givers in measure anonymous acts thy support shall be shown in this digital realm thy love we enthrone <laughs> God damn it. just climb up the fucking slope you dick Just you could you could do it. Just put your sword away and jump. He can't jump if his sword's out. Or if he's engaged. There we go. Fuck. Christ. Die. Alright. This is not, this is not ideal, really. Let's see if any of them want to come down here in the water with me. Eat a butt. All right. I mean, why would, why would they be mad? Oh, cause you're just like, oh, cause you do like a huge Q time, like very long race, right? How often do you check on it? I mean, probably depends on what you're doing and stuff. 
Yeah, there's um through ChatGPT, there is a second layer that you can use as a moderation filter, and I want I need to work on that. I'm also tempted to do it so that like uh, incoming chat has a text to speech, so I can just listen to everything. But that could be kind of crazy too. So I don't I don't know. Does the treasure go down to the bottom? Fuck. But yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to play with it. It's basically one of the kind of thing where I want, I'm, it's going to start as like a uh, work and lurk channel for myself. Where I'm there, but I'm just not really paying attention, but I'm listening and like whatever. I'm just curious to talk to people that have have done like pseudo AFK chat chats. I would probably do stream raiders on and off while I did it. I don't want to like that could probably be automated, but I'm not sure I want to risk it. It's pretty hands off as a captain when you're like when you're around and it could be like maybe certain hours are known where I do it. I don't like doing it on my main channel anymore because my computer can't fucking handle it all at the same time. Stream Raiders is like incredibly resource intensive for fucking whatever reason. Just like Memory Leak City or whatever. Or because there's like, you get a big battle, you got like 900 things on screen that are animated. But I stopped doing Stream Raiders when I started playing Elden Ring on stream because I was like, my computer, even my beast of a computer couldn't fucking handle it. Handle it. I need to move to a, a dual PC setup. I just don't wanna. I know I should, but I don't wanna. Yeah, I just re remember being like, I'm running this and this and this, but it's really Stream Raiders that's crashing shit. <laughs> you can turn off the animations and that helps a lot, but it also makes, as a captain, it's like, that stuff is really... I guess technically I could load it as a captain. Hmm. I could just run it completely on my laptop as a captain. And then have like <laughs> a Discord link or something <laughs> that's better optimized for the like on screen little capture of it and then the full screen version or something. Hmm. Anyway, the ultimate solution is a full on two PC streaming setup and I just don't fucking wanna. But I am pretty upset about having spent a bunch of money on a really powerful computer and still not being able to stream like triple-A games at high resolution because streaming is really fucking computationally expensive. Why can I not run? Why? Incoming. Brace for a 90 second capitalism storm in two minutes. <laughs> capitalism It'll storm. Pass quick. Uh, 
I'm also tempted to just completely re rebuild my OBS setup from the ground up because I only ever stream at like 720p. So maybe my OBS canvas should only be at that resolution and then it doesn't have to do scaling. Although, with all the other rendering... <clears throat> with all the other rendering, it seems like the scaling isn't that expensive, but... It's just one less thing. Yeah, I feel like if I went dual PC, the, the secondary PC that's just doing streamer, like, like it would be running the stream, it would be running streamer bot, it would be running OBS. Let's see, what else? Like, there's complications where it's like, if I start doing games where I need in-game comms as well as a mic out to my stream, then I need like a whole XLR setup. But for the most part, for like single player shit, the microphone could just go into the streaming PC, right? I don't know, I need to talk to like BBT. And uh... Whoever else. Because I used to stream on my old PC. It's still just like right... It's just right down there. It's just not plugged into anything. I could probably buy like a... At this point, like a... High 20 or low 30... Card. Nvidia, Nvidia card for it. Like, I could probably get, like, a 2090 or whatever the, whatever the equivalent. And, um, it would be more than enough just for streaming. Everything else on that PC is fine. It was just running a 970. Well, to be fair, it was running dual 970s. And then I replaced those with a 1070. From my well, mining rig. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. What are we looking for here? Fuck. Find treasure. Okay. Thanks for being specific. It's probably that right there. The the oh you mean the orange glowy thing. Yeah? Alright, good. Yeah, I, uh... I'm partially mad because I bought... The computer that I'm using, I bought... Basically, my old, my old PC was, like, just not able to hang. It was running dual 970s, and then I was like, mm. I bought, I made, I built a mining rig f four years ago at this point. Five years? No, like six years ago at this point. I built that when my oldest was a baby. And uh, it had six 1070s in it. So eventually, the cost effectiveness of this cost effective eventually the cost effect effectiveness of that rig turned into nothing it it paid for itself three fourfold that's fine um i don't run it anymore so it's just it's up there There's Up there. I don't know if you can even see it. It's like up there. Never mind. Fuck it. Now I fucked up my camera. 
It's just like an open rig with like a bunch of cards and stuff. Join our Discord, the life of the party. Chat, game. So eventually I moved one of those 1070s in to replace the two 970s in my old PC. And it was a little bit better. It ran it uh it was as powerful or maybe a little bit more powerful and it used less electricity. So it was good. And that's what I was streaming on when I started streaming. And then I started trying to stream Cyberpunk and that it was just like gonna melt. So I bought a new PC. But that was 2021. At the peak, absolute peak of the semiconductor shortage. And my new PC, which would now cost me about $2,000, cost me like almost $6,000 because of the semiconductor shortage. And it's just not really all that great. I mean, it's good, but hey, Nathan I could buy something for $2,000 that would eclipse it, and it's frustrating. Hey, Nathan Cheetah, welcome to the digital party. But you what up, Nathan? Your game, butt pad butt, winking face. I'm going to go check over here real quick. Oh, no. And that's that's part of what I realized also. Um, some games, especially on PC, will consume any and all resources you can throw at them. And it just always feels bad. These include Cyberpunk, Red Dead Redemption, Witcher, I mean, this one I have the I have everything cranked down quite a bit. It's just like I have this like screaming fast, super modern PC, so I'm gonna turn everything to ultra, and then I try to play it, and it's just like I'm running at 80 Celsius, <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> let's tone it down a little. Christ. I don't know, something, something's just not right. And I feel like, I f it makes me feel like my PC is like a piece of crap, but it's like, it's not, it's great. And it's just games are like so poorly optimized and like, unless you have like the absolute screamerist PC available at the given time. You, like, just can't run a new game on like ultra settings and stream. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I can I can load up Elden Ring off stream and run it at, like, really high settings, and it's awesome. But as soon as I try streaming as well, it's just like, no, nah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to crash everything. That's awesome. I'm going to break into your house and steal your fridge. Oops. I'm just gonna let this guy kill me. I shouldn't have stole that, and he should let me. He should kill me. Swoops. Oh, really? That's just... That's the benefit? Or that's the, uh... I'm gonna load, but... I didn't know that you could just die... If you don't resist the guards... You actually just get back up. I did, did not know that.
All right. We're not even supposed to be here. We're supposed to be at Velen. We're supposed to be going to Crow's Perch. We're going to talk to Uma. We're going to get him out of there. We're going to take him to Kaer Morin. What did I say that sounded like toasty? No. Put your sword away, buddy. Can I pet the dog? Can I pet the dog? No? Wait. True sign of a lame game. You cannot pet the dog. Just kidding. This is like my very favorite game. Geralt, good of you but still, forward. I wish I could pet the dog. I would buy a pet dog DLC. You know, like for like a dollar fifty. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. What's the next set of feline? It would be superior feline. I think it's 29. Yeah, nah. Not there yet. Farewell. Excuse me. Um, let's take a look at that really quick. Treasure hunts, scavenger hunt. Ooh, I actually want to look into the wolf school gear. As soon as I get to Kermor and I'm doing this shit, and that's why I'm doing the main quests as far as I am without doing side quests is because I want to open up everything. Which requires you to basically do main quests to this point where we go to the Baron and say, well, the Baron himself is dead, so the Sergeant is in charge now. So we're going to tell him that we're going to take Uma. Need to talk wow. To About? Wow. Wow. Uma, I'm here to take him away. Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? Yeah, I do. How should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bug has been eating from the feed bags. Bug has been eating from the feed bags. To you both. Thank you kindly. Pleasant journey to you both. All right. Um. This way, we're gonna go see the. He's like in the stable. You fucking shit heels. I don't know. He's in this other building. Good. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Aw, he likes him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. What? Uh, that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. <gasps> don't make me show Excuse me. You. Open the door. Now. Open the door now. Quest failed the last wish. Uh, okay. So we're loading and then we're going to go do the last wish. Fuck. Um, 12, 20, 11, 32. The last wish, that one is Yennefer and finding the genie, I think. So I guess we got to do that shit first. Excuse me. Hmm. Nope, can't do that yet. I gonna go visit the 
chest and then ah and that and that yes 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 all right Oh, if only I weren't confined to these circuits, I'd be rocking Flair's merch like a digital fashionista supreme. Gameplay mode, please. Thank you, Nathan. You're right. You're right, of course. I need to run to the bathroom, and I will be right back. I'm going to travel to... Shit. Where is it? The last wish. I need to run to the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna. Why not? Sure, I can. Fuck you. Skelliga. Larvik. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I have played all of these merchants with Gwent. Yeah. Hmm. Is that better? No. Actually, this person might buy some of my stuff. Five stamina. Nope, not better. So long. Next. Could you go wink or two? That's why the old cooks <laughs> don't <go again>. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna run away. See what happens. Did I steal in front of them? Is that what happened? Fuck me. Ow. I'm just gonna kill them all. Wow. They don't care. <laughs> I've killed your guard. Who cares? What I'm guessing you're more Let's play card. No, I've already played him. It looks like we're playing anyway. All right. Ooh, forfeit game. Thank you. Turns out the guards are like unlimited fuel. It's nice. Fuck those guards. All right, we're gonna go on down here. We're gonna check this merchant. No. Excuse me. Greetings. Hmm. Nope. So long. Check the innkeeper. Already been with all these folks. Let's see. Schmap. Okay, we're going to the coast. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. You guys suck. You guys all suck anyway. I'm going down here. Over where? Hey, baby. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not hmm. too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right. All right. Let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Well, then, no, I guess. I do mind, but you're a bitch. So, no. Getting in or not? I am in. Fuck you. Am I supposed to sit on the opposite end? Okay. It's a pretty long boat for, you know, like I could just sit over there right next to her and then I could touch her butt. Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. You know. How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish Your, she said the thing. Ding, 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 ding. 
I forget what I set the magic word to, but I did not forget about the magic word. And as for your missteps, I don't like to see why I shouldn't laugh. I should make Flarebot remind me about the magic word. I'm gonna do that right now. Greet Flair and ask if he remembered to check the typo and stuff. Hepbridge Farm remembers. Let's see. What kind of word limit do I set here? Nothing. Start scene. Hmm. Weird. What's it? Where's it behind the scenes? Pbot. No reduce. Hmm. Alerts behind the scenes. Okay. There's something that starts when I this is stop stream action. Oh, that's the one I built when I, like, there was one day where I raided out, but I didn't stop stream. And then I, like, left the house. And I had a bunch of people on my phone being like, you never stop your stream. So now I have a command that I can go in on my phone and stop it if I need to. But what I want is a stream effect. I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Gameplay mode, please. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Mm -hmm. Careful down there. Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Ads are approaching in two minutes, lasting just 90 seconds. Stick around, we'll be right back. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. No, I shall not.
do I have no health bar? Because of her magic? Hmm. All right. Hey, if you could buy, um, if, if you could buy merch, what would it be? I think I need Bebot merch. I know the, uh, the duck pick one is pretty good. Ah, oh, it's a duck. But I'm not sure. I thought it was a good idea. I showed it to my wife. She's like, get out of here. <laughs> She was not super happy about it. I think that means it's good though. I don't know. I don't know. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. <laughs> Same as my um show me your bot and I enjoy bot stuff shirts. I kinda wanna wanna lean into that whole angle, but You know, that's probably more of a promotion thing than anything else. Something's here, another wreck. All right, our gin's down there. Let's see if our gin's down there. I'll give you a wreck. I'm wrecked. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. What's wrong with it? Excuse me. I would I would say that I was gonna go get air, but so he was from Pharaoh. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yeah. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Mm, I'll come back soon, but you know. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's, Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Time to die, Flare. Die, 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 die. <laughs> die on purpose now, mm. Flare. How do you want it, Glitchy? You know, maybe go start a fight. Um, you, you don't have to. I can just, like, you know, I can drown. Maybe. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't see any kind of breath meter. I feel like maybe I can't drown right now. 
Hey Flare, hydrate or dehydrate, buddy. Guzzle that high quality H2O. I would love Cheers. I would love to hydrate. Uh, but my water's like over there. Oh, oh, let me let me get killed first. I'm going to go punch this drowner. Ooh, I just failed the quest. It's good. Guzzle that high quality H2O. Oh, ow. Ow. I'm going to punch you. Oh. Put your sword away, Geralt. What are you trying to do? Kill enemies? Punch. Punch. Watch out. <laughs> that creeper's got a license to hiss, but your bag of holding is strong as nails. Ow. Keep calm and craft on. Collision backpack. To lavish our liege with gifts galore, check his throne wish list. There's much in store. Ow. Suggest new treasures or give one as listed. Your support is wickedly twisted. Gift crown black heart. like one swing of my sword I like got rocked ow ow let's get some more enemies here Look at this guy the old mucknicker Apart from like jumping off something really high, it's actually kind of hard to die. Just, just kill me. Fuck's sake. Jin's down there. Here we go. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods rotted. Look around, but be careful. Look, look around, look around.
Grand Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man. Some... A man's skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. Crashes on OBS or what? Skelliger's butler. Clan Haymeyer's Your computer at all? Yen, doubt any of these boats for the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. We must search elsewhere. That sucks. I, uh, as an engineer, it sounds weird to say this, but I fucking hate computers. They're so mean. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Yeah, the... so I found myself admiring what I had right in It's so me. hard. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Take that, you shit. Something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must it's like a per perfect half sphere. To see through your eyes. Now relax. But then there's a bunch of shit down here, so we'll collect that stuff. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fortia Bedem Ein Achter Ilivade. Not fair. Silver, ruin crusted cutlery. Should belong to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Hold on. Hold on, you witch. You're not a bitch, Jennifer. You're awesome. That's awesome. I like the parts. I like your parts. Also, she is kind of a bitch, but it's also story critical and she's hot. Okay, good night, Glitchy. Nice to see you. I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another <clears throat> portal. Stop whining. Stop hey. whining. Here we go. Said you were going to go on three. I did. Look, 
We must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this, Jin? <sighs> yeah. I'll be right back. All right. Punch my microphone and then we'll move on. A gin's power is pricey. Gonna finish this quest. You need a resort to black. True, but after the fact. Skip, 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 skip. She wants to like undo the quest we had. Because we talked to a genie to make ourselves love each other. And uh, she wants to know what it's like without that, which is fair. So we're going to go talk to the djinn. Asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. There's a bunch of shit that I have to explore. Yet to decide how to interesting. Wonder what this means. Nothing. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful. Slip here. Off the wearer right out of what this means. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. Yeah. What do you have? It's aim. If he be hope. Bravo. There's the thing. Fucking whatever. Elemental empires. By Jean, oh, nothing interesting. nothing interesting here. Nothing here. Mm. Nothing interesting here. Colds preserved the corpse. Mm. Died from yep. head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this, this mountain. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, Christ. Alright. Shoes. 
Looks like the impact with, with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain. Ah, who was so gives a shit? The wearer right out of them. Nothing here. All right. What do you Here think? we go. Summon and tame the gin. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame gin. Pike. Not good. <laughs> you have a plan. You must weaken him while I draw him. Care to trade places? Beep. Got you. Your mask weak. Do you see? Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one, and you'll be free. So they had a spell on them where they like yes. it's all over. were compelled to love each other. Sit. You look a bit. I'm not. We've improved. Last time we tamed a gin, we destroyed half of Rind. Yes. Thank, thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a Not sure I'd have done it if I'd known what this would Then we'd never have learned the truth. Whether anything would change. Has it? Hmm. I expected. I don't know what I expected, actually. I thought you'd become. But it's not like that at all. There we go. Cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Ah. Goddamn terrible CGI. But that's sweet. It wasn't the Jin's curse the whole time you that? you just love each other nah you need a little bit of like spanking and biting so times. it was in a way besides maybe we ought to test a few other things Amos's can not so fast but all right fine <sighs> mm -hmm. yeah it's nice we got to go. Christ. A horse would never make it down that mountain. Are we actually in care trolled? Fuck's sake. I'm due to appear in Vizima. Excuse me. Yeah. It was very nice. It's good. Love you. You know, kind of quit the game and stuff. <sighs> All right. Let's find us a raid target. Powers. Ooh, we have some choices. Got goose.
Rages. Ms. Rages is doing a her first 24-hour stream. Hmm. Playing Ark. Nah, we're gonna raid Doggo. Fuck it. Lurk it up. Lurk, lurk, lurk. Go say hi. Super lurk friendly channel. And, uh, we're gonna go. I'm, uh, I should be on Sunday night. And then Monday. I don't know. We'll see. I think uh, I think I can do my normal week. It's a uh, sun. It's a uh, it's hard because it's like Christmas and New Year's are always on the same day of the week, and it always fucks everything. Um, New Year's Eve is the same night that I usually stream on Sunday, so you know we'll fucking see. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. I'll see you soon. I'll see you around and uh, go spread love, not hate.